I visited Tokyo in 2000 to attend the Toy Fair for the first and only time. Found some marvellous stuff. This is just a little potpourri of some of the items I found there. Quite a lot of them, incidentally, are in this case, one of these two very colourful cases at the back there, which I store them, but that's only one of the, 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 the small stuff. I've got lots of others. So let's have a look at each of these ones in turn. There's some extraordinary ideas coming out of Japan. This is a charming one. It's uh, Mr. Potato Man and his friends. We've got to wind him up first. So we're, I've just realised his ear. The ear here is actually the, <laughs> this one here. Can we get this up to camera to show what the quality is of this, this type of thing. It's just so, so good. And this is the actual wind-up. Not that one there, not that there, not that ear there, but this ear here. <laughs> ear, ear, ear. Only one of the ears actually works as a wind-up. And then they walk together. So let's get them to walk together across the table. Here we go. Isn't that cute? Or what? Wonderful. Yes, it's, it's the one with the little tiny yellow bit in the little little yellow flowers. And oh, it's, and you've got one in each ear, actually. But anyway, a lovely action like that, and the walking is just superb. Wow. Here's a very nice ballpoint pen, which I, I got lots of these in that trip to Tokyo in 2000. And this one is when I... I'll, I'll make it show the other end, first of all, that it is... But this is the interesting bit. This is so well made. I'll see if I can get this to focus, because this is quite extraordinary. There we go. Oh, look. That's a little creature, isn't it? Look at that. That's the bit I like. Look at that rack gear, the rack and pinion gear there. That's beautiful. And they bother to actually make it transparent so you can actually see its action. So superb. So lots of people to admire inside and outside. And it's it's a ballpoint pen with all said and done. So, but it's very well designed. So I'm very pleased to have that. This is a bit bizarre, this one. I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> but I can show you where it opens. I suppose you can guess what it is. It's got a little ribbon at the top. It's got this little pin in the bottom and sleeves which open up when you push in the right direction. So we go opening it. Ooh. Be out. So it looks like a fan, doesn't it? There's a spray of cards there now. Each of these actually has the same picture on it. There's, I thought there'd be a different, or it might be a flick book of faith, but it wasn't. It's just the same picture. Once it's made up, of course, it does look temptingly like one of those, isn't it? But it's uh, entirely made of card, and, and apart from the metal pins, no wood involved, and yet it is an effective fan, a little pocket one, and would fit into your breast pocket, of course. So perhaps there's something to it. Here's something very strange, which I think I found actually in Hong Kong, not in Japan, but on the way back. On the way out and the way back, I stopped it off in Hong Kong. I've come across these many times. They're little jellies. Um, all this one's gone a bit liquid now. And to eat it, you simply un unpeel the top and then pop it in your mouth. But I'll see if I can get this into focus first to, to familiarise yourself with something that's quite well known. So that's how they normally, well, this is from the Far East to the world. I've seen those in the UK and the European market. But look at this. This is the same thing, in fact. It's a balloon, isn't it? It's a little small balloon, what they, I would call a little um, bursting balloon, a balloon bomb. And it's been filled with a jelly and then sealed at the top. And it's completely hygienic, obviously, in the fact that they make sure it's got some very, very clean balloons. To eat it, I guess, you just cut the top off and then unpeel the thing around the jelly and pop it in your mouth. I've got two of them, actually. And this one even got its elastic band starting to come off. This one here, extraordinary. Let's have a put, put up to, to, I don't know what flavour this is either. Possibly in the packet on the outside it did it. But to use balloon material, an ordinary, what I would call a water bomb balloon, for holding jellies is most original and quite different and very Asiatic, I guess you could say. So, wonderful piece, that. 
And the last thing, something extraordinary, which I really didn't know what to do with, is it's something I picked up in Japan. It came in a long sleeve with lots of uh, suggestions, but I couldn't read them. But you know, just when I played with it the other day, I thought, that's something interesting here. Look at this. It's got a clip at the end. I'll see if I can get it under focus. A nice strong clip, a very strong spring there. But the interesting material is just this stuff here, which is flexible and yet quite rigid. You know, it's got quite a strong resistance to, to be bent any further or bending back again. So it holds things all out there very happily, with the, even with a bit of weight, dear. So let's have a bit of fun. I thought, what we can do with this, I would think, for instance, I've really just thought of this here recently, you have it like that, and then take my peach cap, which is my cap I normally put on my head, and have a go at some helping me to go around a city as a tourist, instead of having to use something much more modern and sophisticated electronic stuff, use this on my head, like that. And I'm, if I lift it up a little bit further, I can see it over the top. So I, when I cast the eyes up, I can see what's um, on the map itself. That seems a good idea. But then it occurred to me, you can also use it indoors for a bit of fun. This is just pure playing around with ideas and have it to hold little hand of cards. Why not? Why not? So when you're sitting there at the table, perhaps in a casino, you've got your cards in your head and you can, you can see them. No one else can see them. What about it? Do you think it's good? So I've got to think of other ideas you can make up with this bizarre thing because it's very functional and yet um, I can't read the direction of the suggestion, but it's something I feel I can play with and come up with an idea ideas. Have you got any ideas what to do with it? Thank <laughs> you.